Greetings and welcome to another Pokemon 2019 or Pokemon Journeys the Series anime video. In this video I want to talk about Ash leaving the anime. More specifically, I want to talk about whether or not this is a good thing. Is this the right course of action which will breathe some fresh air into a show that has been airing for over 25 years? Or is it a mistake that will sink and ruin this timeless classic. Let's get to it. Now a disclaimer before we begin. I just wanted to say that we still don't have any official confirmation, or at least none that I have seen, on whether or not Ash will be gone forever. We know for sure that he will no longer be the protagonist and that his story will conclude. But this does not necessarily mean that he will never be seen again. He might return in a special episode or movie, or he might make a cameo appearance in an episode of the main series. My point is that for the purpose of this video, I am assuming that he will be gone for good. But please know that this might not be the case. So. On to the actual video now. I think that Ash's departure can be viewed from two different perspectives. The first is on a personal level, as in do we like or hate Ash? Do we want to see him gone or not? The second way is on an objective level. Is his departure necessary? Is it something that the anime needs in order to become interesting or exciting again, or for it to grow and improve. After all, change can be good. It can revitalize an old formula so that it can remain relevant, so that it can capture the hearts of the audience, both old and new, so that it can endure for many more years yet to come. I want to look at Ash's departure from both perspectives in order to provide an adequate and thorough analysis of this impactful decision. So first, from a personal point of view, I like Ash as a character. Sure, he has had his shortcomings in the past, but no character is perfect. I think that overall, Ash is a great character and a fantastic protagonist. Now I admit that nostalgia is a huge part of why I feel and think this way. After all, I basically grew up watching Ash. When I first watched the Pokemon anime, which was well over 20 years ago now, I was just around 5 years old. So Ash has been a part of my life for most of my life. Therefore, you can't really blame me for having such a strong attachment to him. He is like one of the classic and the quintessential role models slash heroes that you have as a child. Someone that represents what you wanted to be someday, or some of the ideals you would like to strive for in the future. Maybe they embody a dream or wish you have. Or maybe they are just so incredibly cool, relatable and likable that you can't help but admire slash idolize them. Basically the point is that Ash means a lot to me, which is why he is a character that is difficult to part with. And I know that a lot of people feel the same way I do. If you ask us, then we personally do not want to see Ash go. Now of course, there are two sides to the personal point of view. While plenty of people, myself included, like Ash, there are a ton of people that feel the opposite way, meaning that they dislike or straight up hate Ash. This sentiment stems from a variety of reasons which I won't get into here, since I want this to be a positive video slash discussion. Plus, there are way too many reasons for me to name, and there are probably some 
I don't even know about. Suffice it to say, some people do not stand Ash. I have seen this firsthand, and while I do not agree with it, I will not condemn anyone that thinks this. Instead, I respect their opinion. People that are on the dislike slash hate side have been calling for Ash to be replaced for a long time, or at least for him to age slash change drastically. Therefore, it goes without saying that for them, Ash leaving is a good thing. So, from a personal point of view, Ash's departure can be good or bad, depending on who you ask. Now it's time to switch gears and look at this matter objectively. Is Ash leaving good for the health, quality, longevity, and the future of the Pokémon anime? Well, I think that for the most part, it is. Ash already reached the ultimate peak. He became the world champion. He is technically the strongest trainer in the world. There really is no bigger accomplishment or accolade for him to achieve than this. So unless they have aliens show up so that Ash can become the best in the universe slash galaxy, there really isn't anything else he can aim for. At least, nothing above where he currently is. He is at the very top, meaning that he cannot climb any higher. So what would he even do if he stays in the anime? Wander aimlessly like an aim to be a Pokemon master, just looking for random adventures and for new Pokemon to meet and befriend? Catch every Pokemon? Go back to facing gyms, collecting badges, and participating in league tournaments? None of these would really work. The first could be fun, but would get stale very fast. Just look at aim to be a Pokemon master. The second is Go's thing, not Ash's. For a long time now, Ash has been more about befriending and bonding with Pokemon than catching them. Him not catching Beartick or Spearow or Rattata proves this. The third would be fun for sure. I would for sure watch the heck out of this, especially if he has Nemona as a rival. Since she is a champion, she could give Ash a run for his money. But this third option would also feel like a downgrade. After going for and attaining the world title, going back to gyms and leagues would feel like a step back, like Ash is doing something beneath his skill level. It would feel like the stakes have been lowered. Also, Ash would be doing it for the fun of it, since he no longer has anything to prove. He is the best already so it would be difficult for us to feel invested in such a pointless, unnecessary, and empty pursuit. Especially since Ash would have to win every battle, or else we would question why the world champion is losing. But the battles would not be as exciting or thrilling if we know he will never lose. Now speaking of going backwards, they could also reset Ash, as in make him be slash act like an amateur again, or at least as a less skilled trainer. Kind of like what happened going from the Diamond and the Pearl series to the Black and White series. This way, they can once again have him pursue a lesser goal, like gyms and leagues, without issue. But of course, no one, absolutely no one, wants to see this. We would all hate it and we would surely riot. So this is definitely not a solution. Additionally, while they could have made Ash lose against Leon, thus preventing him from reaching the highest of peaks so that he can stick around, 
this would have been bad. Because it would mean that in order for Ash to remain the protagonist, he would have to lose at the end in every single series. Which is what happened in every series prior to the Sun and the Moon series. This would be terrible, because then he would never accomplish anything monumental, which would diminish the meaning and impact of the journey he undergoes in any given series. It would feel pointless. Why do so much and try so hard, only to fail every time? This would be an insult not just to us, the audience, but also to Ash as a character. Therefore, he had to win big time at some point. And if this means he has to leave the anime, then so be it. I think that it's better that he accomplishes something amazing and retires with dignity and as a winner than to have him journey endlessly without ever tasting a meaningful victory. Which is what he did for a very long time. I think that it's about time that he was finally allowed to reach the pinnacle of battling. This had to happen at some point, and Pokemon Journeys was the right time to do it. And better now than in 25 more years, by which point we will probably be sick of Ash. So, since Ash had to reach the top at some point, and there is really nothing else for him to do after this and any resets slash steps back or meaningless slash minor slash lesser objectives would sour his accomplishment and the anime while also making any future series feel empty slash pointless, there is no option but to start anew, with new characters that can have new ambitious and the lofty dreams that will spice things up again, that will make things interesting again, that will make the anime exciting and worth following again, while giving us amazing things to look forward to. So, objectively speaking, Ash leaving is a good thing for the health, quality, longevity, and the future of the anime. Like I said earlier, change, especially for a formula so old, is usually a good thing that can only improve and revitalize something that has grown stale or repetitive. Now that's not to say that I wouldn't watch the anime if Ash stays as a protagonist going forward. I would most certainly still watch it. and. I would still love it. Plus, I think that there are ways to keep him around that would be at least acceptable or decent. But I think that Ash's departure makes the future of the anime brighter while also breathing new life into it, improving its quality and extending its longevity. Finally, I just want to say that Ash and Pikachu are the face of the Pokemon anime. Or rather, they are the Pokemon anime. When people think of the Pokemon anime, they picture Ash and Pikachu. So the decision to remove them might backfire, since many diehard fans might not be willing to see a Pokemon anime without Ash and Pikachu at the helm. Therefore, I could see them returning if the new series flops hard. It would be like Halloween and Friday the 13th, which tried to get rid of Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees respectively, only to be forced to bring them back due to backlash from the fans. So, while Ash's departure is objectively a good thing, it might prove to be a mistake that has to be reversed. Therefore, it might be too early for us to close the book on Ash. Though, of course, only the future knows what lies ahead. But yeah, 
that's everything I have for you in this video. Once I started wondering if Ash leaving the anime is good or not, I could not help but come up with a whole discussion on the subject. And of course, I could not help but turn said discussion into a video. In the end, I love Pokemon a lot. So regardless of who leads the anime going forward, you can be sure that I will continue to watch it and to cover it in this channel. Please be sure to share your thoughts in the comments section down below. But that's the video, as always. Leave your own thoughts down in the comments below, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and would like to see more like it, then please consider subscribing to my channel. I love Pokemon and I love making videos on both the anime and the games. Also, please consider clicking the links on screen so that you can check out more videos like this right away. Thank you very much for watching and let's meet again in the next video.